Shabbat Shalom. Earlier this week, I read about an impassioned, xenophobic, totalitarian ruler who saw himself as a god, who was insistent on the decimation of those who were not a part of his ultranationalist agenda, despite the efforts of the bulk of the population who did not share his views. Of course, I'm referring to the Pharaoh, whom we read about in this week's Torah portion, Shemot. Shemot tells the beginning of our Exodus narrative, how we were enslaved by Pharaoh and, with the help of some incredible helpers named Shifra, Pua, Miriam, and an unnamed daughter of Pharaoh himself, how Moses heard God's call to free us from slavery. This story, like most stories in the Torah, is meant to be a mirror for us, giving us an opportunity to reflect on our ways and actions and ways that we have engaged in our world. Consider the mirroring done in this narrative as it relates to Pharaoh. At the beginning of the story, he is fearful of the growing Israelite population. So he engages in arguably the first historical account of anti-Semitism. Pharaoh's first act of making things difficult for the Israelites is to kill all Israelite sons. This will later be mirrored by the 10th plague. Perhaps then, that horrific plague was not just an act of God, but a mirror meant to give Pharaoh the opportunity to see the damage he had wrought. This Shabbat, let us carry these lessons beyond the pages of our sacred texts and into our daily lives. The courage of Shifra, Pua, Miriam, and the unnamed daughter of Pharaoh illuminates the power of individual defiance in the face of tyranny, inspiring us to act with conviction even when the odds seem insurmountable. May we each heed this mirror and become instruments of redemption, weaving threads of kindness, justice, and hope into our world. Shabbat Shalom.